Hey y'all, welcome to Savory Saver, where I share gluten-free recipes, tips, tricks, and resources to make your gluten-free lifestyle easier. Have you heard of Beeler's Broth? It's a clean and delicious soup with some health benefits. Health benefits like potential weight loss or detoxifying your body and cleansing your body. Those are some things that people say this soup does. I think it's the perfect soup for the summer season because it uses vegetables that are available now. They're affordable, they're easy to find. I'm talking about zucchini. Who doesn't have some of this around or know someone that's growing it? It uses fresh parsley, which I'm having to be growing. This actually came from the store because I don't have enough of it. It uses a full bunch, but it uses a ton of this. It uses green beans, so if you're growing those, you can use a pound of those. If not, you can buy the frozen ones. It's a great recipe that uses all of this. It's a light soup, so you're not gonna be weighed down for the rest of the day. This soup only takes a few minutes to make, so hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Okay guys, so before I take you over the stove, I'm gonna start the soup without you guys seeing it because I don't think you need to know how to dump a bag of frozen green beans into a pot. So what I'm gonna do is I've got a pound of green beans and these are cut. Um, I'm gonna throw them into the pot frozen. I'm gonna add one quart of chicken broth and I'm gonna bring it to a boil over high heat. And while I do that, I'm gonna prep the rest of the veg. If you are a vegetarian, by all means, swap this out for veggie broth and you've got your vegetarian meal. If you don't have any kind of broth in the house, go ahead and use water. The broth I find adds some flavor, but if you, that's all you got is water, use it. So let me put this in the pot and let's get our veggies prepped. So while our green beans are coming up to a boil, and by the way, if you're using fresh, you would add them and just start them with the rest of the vegetables. So I've got one great big zucchini here. Usually you want four small ones, probably around this size. You wanna slice them in half and then in moons. I'm gonna slice this one up and we'll see what we have once I'm done. So I'm just gonna slice off the ends. And then zucchini has a lot of water in it and zucchini is this big, tend to have a lot of seeds and we are not gonna worry about that because we're gonna blend it all up at the end. So let's quarter this up. And then I'm still gonna do it in slices. because I think it'll cook better that way. And guys, if you like soups like this that are all vegetable, low in calorie, be sure to check out my Weight Watchers cabbage soup recipe, also called Zero Points Cabbage Soup. Uh, it's been a recipe that's been around for years. I've got my version on the channel, so be sure to check that out if you like soups like this. Once your zucchini's all cut, you can put it to the side or you can add it to the pot. I'm gonna just put it in the pot so it starts heating up with those green beans. Once our zucchini's in there, I've got four stalks of celery and I'm gonna use the leaves as well for extra flavor. So you wanna dice that up because we want this to cook in about 10 or 12 minutes. So I'm gonna cut it up fairly small so it all has time to cook up and get soft. Push this off to the side a little bit because the other thing I want to add is some garlic. Garlic is not always in the recipes I was looking at. I really like garlic. If we're talking about health, garlic's always, you know, everyone always says how healthy it is for you. So I'm going to add about three or four cloves of chopped garlic. Again, we are blending this soup at the end so it doesn't have to be super small. All 
right, I think that's good for our garlic. So let's pop that into the pan along with the celery. So guys, that's all in the pan. I'm gonna pop a lid on that and let it come to a boil quicker than it would if it's open. And we'll prep our parsley while we're waiting for that to come to a boil. We're simply gonna stir this in the last couple minutes of the cooking time. So we don't want it to lose all of that green. So I'm just gonna find where the leaves look like they probably start more than the stem. And I'm gonna cut off those stems. So I've got most of the stems there. The rest of the stems will just leave. So I'm just gonna give it a rough chop, guys. That's all I'm gonna do to it. Now that it's been chopped, we're waiting on our soup to boil. I'm gonna move you over there to the stove and we're gonna finish this soup off. Guys, you can see how green this soup is and how green it's gonna turn out when we add that parsley and blend it all up. I do wanna season it a little bit with salt and pepper as it's coming to a boil because the only salt in there right now is from that little bit of chicken stock that we added. So let's add some salt and pepper. It's to taste. I like a teaspoon or so of salt and about a half teaspoon of black pepper, but you add what you want to this. All right, guys, this is coming up to a boil. So once it does, I'm gonna bump that heat down to medium, put the lid back on, cook it for eight to 10 minutes until the veggies are soft and I'm gonna stir in that parsley a couple minutes before the soup is actually done. And then we're gonna blend it up and I'll give it a taste. So now we need to blend this all together. So I'm gonna use the immersion blender. If you don't have one of these and wanna look into it, I will link below. But I think this is a great jar of pureeing soups and I use it probably once a month or so. If you don't have this, you could do it in a blender in batches. So let's whirl it all up. Guys, can you see how green that soup is? How healthy that's gonna be. So you could leave it a little chunky if you want. I think it's great puree. So let's dish up some. Guys, here's our Beeler's broth. It's screaming hot right now. Let's see if we can give it a taste. This soup is super fresh tasting. It's a great soup for the summer season. We used zucchini, we used green beans, we used parsley. If it has health benefits in the Beeler's broth, even better. I think this is a recipe you're gonna wanna try just because you've probably never heard of it. If you want more recipes like this, again, be sure to check out my Weight Watchers Cabbage Soup recipe, also known as Zero Points Cabbage Soup. It's been around for years. There's a ton of ways you can make it to make it your own. Guys, give this recipe a try. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video.